Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jasil, and I'm back with another banger. And as y'all can tell, I'm recording from my PC. As y'all can see, I am recording from my PC. Like, y'all can see, like, you know what I'm saying? The little cam thing right there. IBIS paint. Yeah, as y'all can tell by the title for today's video, I'm gonna be making a mock up. I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a mock up design with clothing or whatever you want to make like you can make that down there i don't know bro but yeah y'all this is gonna be a little mock-up design video for to make a little quick tea for y'all for to show you how i do it how i make my teas i'm gonna show a tea right here t-shirt you know what i'm saying right here right there y'all can see it all right y'all enough talking we're gonna get to this video we're gonna make a quick tea and Basically giving y'all a tutorial on how to make a clothing mock-up if y'all want to start a clothing brand Here you go. You can learn from this So first you want to download IBIS paint you can get it on your PC or your phone Apple Store Microsoft whatever you can get it on there Once you download IBIS paint you want to go to Pinterest This is where you can find a lot of designs like look at all these designs y'all you can find so much designs on here Literally so much. It don't even gotta be these type of designs. You could search up Y2K or something and it'll be different designs popping up. Like why Y2K design, whatever. Yeah, that'll pop up. All these fire designs you could put on a T. Sometimes people copyright you for this, I think. I don't even know. But whatever, y'all. And just keep grinding. And next you wanna have BG remover on your phones or PC. Type in BG remover. It's gonna be the one that says remove point BG. I wanna click on that. This is for when you grab um a logo, like say I'll grab this one, you know, I save wait, how do I say? Oh, I save it, download image. You wanna go here, click here, and you can remove the background, like the white background of it. So it looks like a PNG. And yet yeah, that's how you use that one. Next you want to have the brand Bible US. This is where you could find your tees. You could also buy joggers, hoodies, whatever. A lot of people be using this to get their own um, mock ups. So, let me go. You got to go to resources, mock ups. They got blank t shirts, blank hoodies. They be adding a whole bunch of new things. Like, I never seen socks. For me, I'm going to do blanks blank tees just so it's quick quick and easy i'm thinking about doing light cream light cream shirt because i don't know i just think light cream look tough let me know if y'all think that look tough too and they got they got a whole bunch of stuff boom you could do this on your phone too y'all could do this on both pc and phone so i'm gonna go grab me a I like I like the cream one. A cream front shirt. I want to click save or download right here. Click that. It should download, okay? After that, you want to go on Pinterest, search out whatever logo y'all want. And make sure I have all of these open, by the way. Go on IBIS Paint. Look, I already got my logo here. I literally designed this logo on here, I think. It, I think it was here. But yeah, this logo is tough. This is for my clothing brand, my clothing brand logo. If y'all need clothing brand logos, let me know. If y'all need anything, let me know. I got y'all. I can make it and y'all can just pay. It. But yeah, first you want to import picture. Okay. Uh, You want to go downloads. And there. Free trial, I guess. One hour. Um, Cancel. So your shirt going to be right here. This is my first time using IBIS paint on PC, so y'all gonna have to stick with me with it. So yeah, um, now let me look for a good design. Like I lowkey like this. I don't know what this is, but I lowkey like that. There's some other ones, some other fire ones. Like y'all just gotta, y'all gotta have the mindset, bro. Just go with what you feel like is gonna look good and just create it. When you create it. You never know it'll look tough or it won't look tough but if it's your first first time doing this 
just keep going, bro. Just keep designing, keep going, and you'll see progress soon. Because I started from the bottom with this. I didn't know how to do none of this. Make sure I look at a lot of YouTube videos, too. I'm going to probably be making a lot more clothing brand videos so y'all can learn how to start your own clothing brand. I gotcha. But um, let me go look for what design I want really quick. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I do not know what design I want to put. Like, I don't know, man. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know. Cause a lot of people look. Listen, y'all. A lot of people like to just copy other clothing brands. Y'all gotta be yourselves, man. Being different is way better than trying to be like someone else. So. That's all I gotta say. Uh, I'm thinking about grabbing this. I feel like this will be something good in the um, edit. People say, can I use it for my clothing or whatever, whatever. I'm sorry, but I'm not doing it. All right, so I got that picture. So now I gotta find a picture that I think would look good with this. All right. All right, y'all. I think, low key, I think. This mouth will look good with the blah, blah, blah thing I just saved. Okay? So, I'm going to save that, download it. Okay? First, y'all want to, um, first, y'all want to go to BG Remove or Remove BG, Remove Background. I want to get on there. Okay? Upload image. And I want to click download. And I want to click, um, whatever design y'all picked. Look, it removes the background right away. Sometimes it doesn't do a good job, but most of the time it does. Um, next, click the plus, add your other design, which was download, I think. Yeah, it was the mouth. Then it's going to remove the background. Then y'all want to download again. So it's going to be both right here or however much you did. Then y'all want to get on the IBIS paint. Y'all want to click plus to make a new layer because if you add it right here and you're trying to delete or fix something, it's going to mess up the shirt too. So make a new layer and then y'all want to click the little camera and y'all want to click, I'm going to click this one, yep, blah, 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 whatever. Just work with it. Work with what your mind tells you, okay? So I'm going to just design, like tilt it a little bit, see? Boom. Maybe I should have added this on the back of a t-shirt. What y'all think? Back of a t-shirt? No, nah, I think front, 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 front. Maybe the back, though. But it don't matter. I'm just giving y'all an example and showing y'all how y'all can do this. Okay? And then you want to add the mouth. Okay? Okay. Make sure it look good, though. Don't, like, just throw it on there. Just put it right in the middle. I think that'll look good right there. And then say the mouth. Like y'all see the mouth is on top of the text. And y'all want the text to be in front. All y'all gotta do is click hold here and then move this up. And it'll be right in front of it. Okay? And then I'm gonna make this smaller. And I'm gonna tilt it a little. So like looks like it came with the mouth. Okay. Make it like that. Or I'm thinking about, actually, let me, like, I'm going to move it. Like, if y'all want to move it, too, y'all just click right here, okay? Click, and then you can move it, rotate, whatever. If y'all want to cancel, click X. I'm going to add it like that and then a little bit on there. Boom. That looks tough right there. That ain't bad. Also, if y'all want to make y'all little t-shirt or whatever look realistic, y'all just want to click right here and then move this a little like make it like a little bit this make it disappear a little bit i'm sorry i'm tripping over my words but make it disappear a little bit like like that whatever but i'm gonna make mines like this a little bit just a little bit so it looks realistic or y'all could like mess with this like no that doesn't look realistic overlay nah hard light maybe hard light yeah hard light hard light really looks a little bit realistic I'm gonna keep mine like this cuz I ain't trying to do too much and then I'll do that 
do that. All right. And keep on like this. And then you want to zoom in. And y'all see, like, you could see through it. You see through it. You want to click your eraser. Where's my eraser? Okay, eraser. Y'all want to make sure y'all click on a text or whatever design y'all have. All right, y'all. Y'all want to make the eraser a little small. Y'all just want to erase. Erase till it looks good. Like, y'all see how I'm doing it? Do it like that. Just copy what I'm doing. Boom. Don't let it show in the other image. Okay? After that, y'all got this part done. Let me. All right. After that, I'm thinking about, um, let me see what else I can add. All right, y'all. I had to split it because I'm trying to see what I think would look good on this T. So, I'm trying to focus, y'all. I'm thinking about. If I should add more blah, 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 blah to it. I don't know. Should I? What y'all think? What y'all think? I low-key feel like it looks good like this. Like, you don't really got to add much. Don't add so much to your tees. I don't got to add so much to it. Maybe I could add this fashion. So, I'm going to save this really quick. Download image. Okay, there. I go here. Boom, boom. I could download that. Just come here, click the camera. I'm not that good at explaining stuff, but y'all see what I'm doing. And then just add fashion down here. Make it look good, y'all. You know what I mean? Boom, fashion. Boom. All right. So I'm going to add this under the mouth. And you already know what I'm going to do. Go to that eraser, zoom in, make sure you got a good eraser size, and then erase it like that, okay? Like that, all right, and then boom. This looks darker than this, so I'ma go to fashion. If y'all can't see, like, y'all see right here, y'all can't really see what it is. Just click the eye, and it'll take it away, and then put it back on there, so you know. And then just make it like this appear a little. Make it so dark and boom. Boom, y'all. This hoodie is it ain't bad. I mean this shirt. What am I talking about hoodie? This shirt isn't that bad, y'all, but I was just giving y'all an example on how I make my shirts and mock-ups and stuff. But Next time, I'm going to try for real. Next time I make a video, I'm probably going to make another design a hoodie. And I'm going to actually make a hoodie. like, And I'm probably going to make it for my clothing brand, too. So, yeah. Uh, there's a lot of good designs on here. A lot of good designs. Let's add. Mm, Low-key, this money sign don't look. I don't know, y'all. This money sign low-key look weird. I'm going to add this. Because I want to show y'all. How to make, like, how to change your color. How to change this blue color. So, download the image, of course. Whatever image that got color with it. Click the plus. Boom. Take the background out. Take that background out, man. Boom. Download, okay? Now, y'all want to click the camera, of course. That. All right. Y'all see this, right? Y'all see it's colored blue. Maybe it'll look tough with blue color. But I don't like that the drip is on this side, and I don't want to add it down here. I want to add it up here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate. This is how you rotate it, y'all. If y'all want to rotate, click the check mark, like add it, click check mark, and click this one. It rotates, okay? Y'all want to click this right here. Just copy me. Click rotate a little. Rotate that a little bit. Boom. Are we going to make it smaller? Maybe a little bit more. All right, check. That's how you rotate. Now, if y'all want to change color, y'all going to click filter. And then there, y'all just click. Nah, click mono color. Mono color makes it look better because y'all can see, like, it has more fade in it. Change color just changes, like, the whole thing, and it makes it, like, with no fades. So make sure y'all click mono color. And y'all want to click black. Or y'all could put whatever. Whatever color y'all want, do whatever. Yeah. And then, um. Oh. 
Boom, I'm gonna put that color a little bit grayish. And then, of course, make it blend. So, make it like that. Boom. Yeah, yeah. I feel like that logo looks ugly on there, so let me delete it. You know, it's crazy that I, I'm, I can never play Fortnite again or even create content for you guys. This all I'm gonna do. So I just showed y'all how to make a simple T. And if y'all need any more examples or any, if y'all need help, let me know. I could make another video for y'all. I'm not that good at explaining things, y'all, so bear with me. But this is how the T looks. It ain't that bad. It's not the best. Not the best I've made. I just made this T really quick, like I said. I was trying to show y'all how to do this, how to use this app. And yeah, boom. That's tough. It ain't bad. It ain't bad. Also, y'all, make sure y'all click click this right here and then click where it says background. Click that. So it removes the background. And then boom. The background's removed. You can go ahead and save as PNG. Then let's put T. Boom. It saves. I want to go to files. And then downloads. Then y'all shirt is right here. And this is the shirt we made, y'all. Quick little T. I hope y'all enjoyed this quick video. You no, know, showing y'all how to make a t-shirt. And make sure y'all subscribe, like, and turn on post notifications to stay tuned to my next uploads. And yeah, y'all, let me know what other videos y'all want me to make. I will be making probably two more videos next week or three videos for y'all. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and keep grinding. Make sure y'all do a clothing brand because that's what a lot of people are doing and you can get successful off of that. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Peace.